transnasal esophagoscopy. It's not entirely new, uh, but uh, it's, it took quite a long time for the ENT uh, team, especially in the UK, to start using this in the normal routine day-to-day -day, uh, uh, work. Uh, it has so many advantages that we cannot simply just ignore it. And the main advantages for the transnasal esophagoscopy is that it allows us to examine the whole of the aerodigestive tract in the clinic on the local anesthetic without having to put the patient to sleep. And that reduces the complications that you can have in some patients by putting them to sleep or just simply looking into the larynx and the general anesthetic. So this is one area. Another area that the TNO has become very useful is for treatment of certain conditions like uh, swallowing difficulty, dysphagia. You can do what we call balloon dilatation to stretch uh, the area that is causing the swallowing difficulties. And other areas that I've used it for is uh, biopsy. You can use it for laser treatment as well, like in respiratory papilloma of the larynx. You can pass the instruments through the channel in the TNO to treat these patients.